It's not merely in the absence of war. Peace is not merely in the absence of war. Somebody who is hungry is, cannot be peaceful. A hungry person is, cannot be peaceful. So uh, it has got a wider meaning, that peace that is talked about there. But finally it says, plenty be found within our borders. Plenty be found within our borders is a very strong statement. That plenty is not going to drop like manna from heaven. It was going to be a product of the sweat and toil of the people of Kenya. Meaning what? Meaning that you must create a conducive environment for people to create wealth. People must be enabled to create wealth. And this is freedom and the rights. One is the, the right to life was fundamental. To the right to health is fundamental. The right to quality education is fundamental. Right to food is fundamental. Right to, um, uh, to, to education. Right to, uh, to education. So all these were there. But then, people were expectant. But over the years, the joy of independence has been tempered by many battles, a struggle that has continued for six decades. We have fought poverty. We have fought ignorance. We have fought disease. We have fought corruption. And we have fought tribalism. But these challenges march on with us. In spite of our tribulations, and against monumental odds, we have fought and we are still struggling to build a thriving democracy. We are still fighting for individual freedom within our free nation. We have become the beacon of hope for the millions of immigrants for the four corners of the earth. We are struggling to forge a free and modern society that lives by the ideals of liberty, justice, and respect for human rights. We have fought and we are still fighting not to let any obstacle stand in the way of our destiny. I have been extremely fortunate to see the emergence and pro progression of Kenya up and close. First, as the son of a freedom fighter, my father was involved. <laughs> Two, as the son of the first vice president uh, for a brief period. <laughs> and three, as a son of a vice president turned a detainee, uh, a fighter for the second liberation, a detainee myself, as a minister, an opposition leader, and as a prime minister. The people of Kenya endured the pain of colonialism, the tragedy of single-party dictatorship, and the horror of the economic collapse of the 1980s and 1990s, enabled by the elite corruption and avoid uh, policies like the structural adjustment programs of the World Bank and IMF. In these periods of colonialism, elite corruption, and ethnicization of national life, colors and cruel leaders took away lives and broke up, uh, apart families through detention camps, jails, assassinations, and state-enabled high level of poverty. But all these tragedies and unfortunate turn of events could not take away the spirit of the Kenyan people. I have seen Kenyans pick the armor of courage to confront dictatorships and bad regimes. This 60th 
uh, anniversary is therefore a good time to reflect on our past. It is also a time to look for the future. Where will this country be on the 120th anniversary of its birth another 60 years from today, which will be the year 2083? This is a challenge that I want Kenyans to reflect on. Where are we going to be 60 years from today? Will we still be a country going around the world with begging bowls? Will you still be a country struggling with the weight of corruption, tribalism, lack of accountability, and empty promises for which the promise makers pay no price? Are we able to set the stage for a future of a dramatic departure from the king of today? As a nation, we have always had great ideals on paper including in our constitution and various policy documents like the Vision 2030. We have values and principles of, of governance that include patriotism, national unity, sharing and evolution of power, the rule of law, democracy, and participation of the people. We also aspire for human dignity equity, social justice, inclusive inclusiveness, equality, good governance, integrity, transparency, and accountability, among others. We aspire to live in unity, peace, and liberty. We aspire to be a nation of plenty. We aspire to be a caring nation that provides the best possible medical care to all its citizens a nation that provides the best possible education to its children for free. That's why we promised, as a Zimio, free education in primary, secondary, up to university level. We have always aspired to be the 